And now, your first Alert 5 weather. Welcome back, everybody. We are still watching that chance for thunderstorms today, especially for the mountainous terrain. Not so much for Colorado Springs and Pueblo, much lower threat of that. Taking you back to yesterday, we did have some high rainfall totals over an inch, both for Sugar City and Colorado Springs. Penrose picking up just under one inch of rainfall. Woodland Park just over a half an inch and La Vida Pass under half an inch of rain, but we saw the effects that had on the spring burn scar. So any thunderstorms we see in that area have the potential to cause some flooding conditions. Right now, Colorado Springs, we're starting to see those clouds develop over the mountains. Again, we are still seeing sunshine and warmth at 72 degrees right now. 34 on Pikes Peak and look at the really interesting clouds we can see here. I love this camera view of the bubbly cumulus with some of the ragged edges there showing some of that light rain shower activity. And also in Woodland Park, you need to be on alert for some showers and thunderstorms later on this afternoon. Uh, but generally, Colorado Springs, Pueblo looking better today. Pollen counts are up there, moderate for mold, grass, high for trees. So you will want to maybe have that allergy medicine handy if you want to catch some side out, some time outside today. Our main area of low pressure, that's progressing to the east. So our main batch of energy we've been watching is moving out. So we'll have a bit of a down day for areas along I-25 and east. But more from that uh, is on the way. We're expecting thunderstorms to continue Friday, Saturday, a bit of a down day, but then more come Sunday. The weather pattern remains active. Those mountain thunderstorms, heavy rain is what we're watching today. But severe weather does return by Friday. Will be nice and warm to start the weekend, followed by a major cool down by Sunday. So taking you through today, do expect those mountain showers to continue to develop near Woodland Park, Canyon City, and towards Westcliff through the later afternoon hours. Notice how we are dry into the plains. These will continue dropping maybe some small hail, some light to moderate rainfall through your evening hours and heading further south. Again, La Vida, you could see another round of showers and possible flooding by later this evening. We do not have a flash flood watch though in place today, so hopefully that will remain fairly limited. All this activity really clears up by 10, 11 p.m. And we're in for a nice night with calm winds and cool temperatures. Tomorrow, that's where our severe weather risk returns for just about everyone along the I-25 corridor into the plains. So scattered thunderstorms possible tomorrow afternoon. Some may be severe. Going through the seven-day forecast here, we are expecting conditions to warm up. Some snow melt continues. Nice on Saturday. Late afternoon into the evening thunderstorms possible as our cold front arrives takes us down to the 60s Sunday. Pueblo you can expect to make it to the 90s by Saturday and again about 20 degree cool down by the end of the weekend. The day to go outside catch some rays will be Saturday this weekend. Canyon City you could see some thunderstorms today tomorrow and even late on Saturday as that cold front arrives. Woodland Park, you're also looking at some potential heavy pockets of rain this evening. Looking forward to a big cool down again by Sunday. Bree.